After completing 50 security contract missions from the contract DLC and been awarded a lovely Gold Partner of the Year award from Old Franklin, I thought now would be a great time to show you the best ways to complete all of the security contract missions and their variations, so you can do it too. Alright, cool. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up, make sure that you fully stock up on snacks, armour and ammo, which you can do from your agency. There are snacks at the front desk on this table, as well as upstairs in the kitchen. Armour and ammo, of course, can be obtained from the armoury. What can I get you? You then want to make sure that you have the Oppressor Mark II in garage slot 1 and is not outside. This means that you can leave the agency on your oppressor straight from the reception desk rather than going outside and getting on it. There are six styles of missions to choose from. Vehicle recovery, rescue asset, recover valuables, gang termination, liquidize assets and asset protection. The payout amounts are quite random, but usually the vehicle recovery missions will pay out the most. The highest I've seen so far is $84,000. So let's first look at the vehicle recovery missions. There are three types of vehicle recovery missions. One of them is still in the car from a street gang. Before you go in, return your Mark II to its garage. When inside, hide behind these boxes and take everyone out. Locate the car, but do not get in. You first want to unlock the garage door. Doing this before you get in the car means no more enemies will spawn inside and murder you. Now get in the car and drive out. There are three cars you can get in this mission. The yellow Ignis, the blue Jester RR, or the red Comet S2 Cabrio. Now simply deliver the car without a scratch. Another variety of this mission is in a hangar at LSIA. First head left up the stairs to give yourself a tactical advantage. Then pop everyone in the head. Once cleared, the bike will be inside the cargo airplane. Unlock the garage door and head out. Make sure to stock up on snacks and armour before you leave because you will get shot. The bike will be either a Shinobi, a Reaver or the Avarice. Head out through this gate on the right and ride it home. The other variety, and easily the worst, is at the Humane Labs. Get in through this door and go into first person. Then blast all military in your way. The reason you want to be in first person here is it's easier to navigate the thin corridors. extra careful here as there are many guards and they can shoot you through the vans. Once they're dead, unlock the garage door. Then stock up full on health and armour. Driving out, get ready to eat your snacks as you will take a lot of damage. While driving, keep an eye on your minimap to see which direction the vehicles go. Cut them off and you'll get a nice speed boost. Hop down to the train tracks and follow them until you meet up with the freeway. There are a total of six enemies that will spawn in vehicles. If you can escape them, you're home free. If not, keep getting those speed boosts. 
If they get in front, they are brutal with the shooting and you will take tons of damage. For the rescue asset mission, you should take the free chopper straight from your agency from the front desk. Anything I can do for you, boss? This means you already have a vehicle ready for extraction. Locate the target and land close by. The enemies here are pretty weak and are dispatched with ease. Hop in your chopper and fly off to the drop off location, which will be the same for every mission. Hey, over there. The four possible locations for this mission are Rattan Canyon, Grand Sonora Desert. La Puerta Scrapyard or the terminal docks. Another option is using your Sparrow or Buzzard, which will help you find a target with its homing missiles. Now for the Recover Valuables mission. There will only be two possible locations for these. One is at Tequila La and the other is at Vanilla Unicorn Strip Club. You first want to start murdering everyone. A sort of shotgun works a treat. Then look for the safe. The safe in Vanilla Unicorn will be in one of two spots backstage. You then have to hunt down the safe code, which could be either in this cubicle on the bar or by the pole. Please don't kill me. Once you've picked it up, expect more enemies. Take these out first before opening the safe. Once completed, leave and fly off. At Tequila La, the safe will be either upstairs by the DJ booth or right downstairs by the pool table. The code could be either right by the stage on the table by the stage or behind the bar on the counter. Again, grabbing the codes means more enemies will spawn. Open the safe. And get out.
Now, gang termination. There are five possible locations for this mission. Sawmill. Braddock Farm in Grapeseed. The Train Yard. Abandoned Motel. Or the cargo ship at the docks. Your best bet here is to call in a tank and blast everyone away. This is especially quick at Braddock Farm as the area is quite open. Doing this at a sawmill is a little trickier. Doing these ones on your Mark II will cause you to lose lots of health and using up your 20 missiles. Simply blast everyone with the tank until you've killed all four targets, then just leave the area. If you get the cargo ship mission, keep your distance and missile everyone with your Mark II. If you have the train yard mission, you're better off driving in with your armoured Karuma and just concentrating on the four targets. Now liquidise assets. There are five main types for this one, but all very similar. If you get a helicopter at LSIA, follow it to a CEO rooftop, then go inside. Here you'll have a handful of enemies and some boxes to destroy. Once cleared, decorate the place with three explosives. Leave and then fly away. Get the fuck out of here. Once the time is up, they'll detonate. You'll then need to lose the cops. Sometimes putting on sunglasses reduces the wanted level by one star, but other times it doesn't work. Calling up Lester is not an option either. Hey, which one of my skills is required? Okay, some other time. <laughs> Simply avoid the cops until you lose them. Another one is following a Merryweather 4x4. The inside would be like the vehicle warehouse. Stay behind this object and shoot everyone from cover. Or you may get the lost biker. The inside would be like the arcade garage. Or you'll have to follow a paparazzo on his bike. This is by far the easiest one to complete. And the last option is the Armenian mob, which will be inside a crate warehouse. This one is different in that the supplies you need to destroy need to be blown up, so just be careful.
And the last contract mission is Asset Protection. There are three locations for this one, La Mesa, Marlow Vineyards and Elysian Island. The aim is to save all 10 supplies of something from local gangs. When you arrive, make sure not to shoot any explosive just yet as you'll damage the property. The aim here is simple, protect the goods until the 10 minutes is up. This is pretty easy, just make sure you kill enemies before they get too close. Your best friend here is going to be the explosive sniper rifle. You wanna play with me? I've tried running down the time away from the area to see if that works, but the gang still attack and you'll lose some stock. The only real drawback here is that there is no faster way to complete it. You have to simply wait it out, which is why many of you probably won't choose this option, but it is, in my opinion, the most fun. So there you have it. I hope this helps you get your Partner of the Year award if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out at all or drop some more tips and tricks down below. If you found this video useful, please drop it a like or maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beatsdown, Good shit. and I'll see you in the next one.